Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I'm up on one of my favorite places to shed hunt in all of New Hampshire. Me and my hunting partner Franny have been hunting up in here, shed hunting up in here for 20 years. And historically, I have found more sheds on this ridge I'm headed to than any place else in New Hampshire. Um, mostly deer sheds, although I have found one moose shed up in here. Um, unfortunately, the secret's out about this spot, and it's been for a long time, and a lot of guys hit this area. And down the road, about a mile, there's another access point, and I saw somebody parked there last weekend. But, like I always say, you can't find them all. I'm the perfect example of that. I've walked past a lot of sheds that have been picked up afterwards, so... We're gonna uh, we're gonna just push our way up pretty quickly up to the top, and then just kind of work that ridge. And there's some really good cover up there. I suspect I will see a lot of deer sign, although I'm on a lower ridge. I haven't seen much deer sign yet, but um, there's no snow here at all. And this is purely a south-facing slope, so it's been free of snow for a long time. Anyways. Another exercise trip. I hope uh, hope we find something, but if nothing else, prepping for Arizona. We'll catch you up on the hill. Lots of times when I'm going up these steep hills, I like to follow these waterways up. You know, we don't have much agriculture or fences. But y'all know sometimes when a deer jumps over a fence, jars his antler loose when he lands. Kind of the same idea here. You know, in the winter, they'll have to jump across this water and sometimes they'll jar an antler loose. So it's sometimes the easiest way up when you're headed uphill is just to follow these, uh, these drainages. And you never know. I'll come up off the stream and I'll be going up this hill. And you can see this goes pretty straight up there. The top is only about 100 yards, but I'm gonna traverse it. I'm gonna come this way and I'll go up about 50 yards and I'll come back this way and then I'll go up to the top and I'll go across. Here's old deer sign all around here. A 
the major deer trail right here. I mean, that thing, that thing's beat right down into the bare ground. And it's going right down to the lower part of that. We'll follow it for a little ways. This really reminds me of being out west. Some of the country we'll be covering when we go out to Arizona is a lot like this. Let's go up to the next little shelf. And then we'll traverse that way. Then we'll go up on top of the, the ridge. That's pretty cool. Kind of switch back, back and forth, trying to get up to the top of this thing. This looks so much like places I've seen up on top of the Mogollon Rim in Arizona. It really doesn't, doesn't look like your typical New Hampshire woods. Well, covered a lot of ground, put on a lot of steps, and uh, no sheds. But man, it's a beautiful evening. And uh, I'm in a great spot, but 
You know, it's tough. Finding sheds in this in this country is tough. I think somebody might have been in here before me. I don't know that for a fact, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's historically been a great spot. So I'm going to mosey on back down to the truck and uh, head home for supper. At least I got some exercise in. If I find anything on the way back down, I'll turn the camera back on. But if not, I'm going to have a little bit of jerky, take a little breather, head on back down. Thanks for coming along. See you next time. Peace.